What's up guys? Today is April 20th, the unofficial Doge Day. However, I'm not talking about Doge. I've done plenty of other videos on it, so check those other videos out if you want to know more about Doge. Uh, I do want to talk about a stock that's coming out. Uh, it is by the company Oatly, and what they do is they make uh, uh, non-dairy milk using oats. Uh, so I've never had it. Uh, done. No, I don't know anyone else has had it. Actually, I don't even see these in stores of where I'm at, um, unless I'm shopping the wrong stores. Um, so this is backed by Oprah, and um, it is owned actually by a Swedish vegan food and drinks uh, maker, Oatly Group AB. So they filed with the SEC. It plans to raise $100 million by selling, um, basically selling shares of their company and going public. So the company is seeking to list on the NASDAQ stock exchange with the symbol O-T-L-Y, and that's actually close how you spell it. Um, so part of the filing, uh, and you know, the, obviously they're trying to raise money, looking to expand, I would think. They said about 25% of the sales come from Asian, Asia Pacific region, uh, and that's from the past two uh, fiscal quarters. Um, it's also stated that China Resources owns more than 60% of the Swedish company through a joint venture with the Belgian family investment group, uh, Berlin Vest. So if that's kind of confusing, basically you have this parent company based in Sweden uh, that was formed by these two other companies, Ella Belgium and um, uh, China, China Resources. I guess China Resources is actually the name of the company. So... Um, the company reported a loss of 60.4 million in revenue of oh the company reported a loss of 60 million dollars in revenue uh last year um however they brought in sale wise 421 million so there's a lot of growth there and uh it looks like the year before that in 2019 they had a revenue of 204 million or sales of 204 million with the loss of 35 million so both losses went up but their uh sales went up as well so in America, this company, uh, it, Americas represent 24% of the sales of uh, this oat, oatly uh, milk. And back in last July, uh, lead investor Blackstone helped secure $20 million for Oatly during a private equity funding uh, round, which helped them, uh, especially uh, the last time they did that was in 2019 to raise you know, money through private funding. Uh, and they only raised 41 million. So, um, you know, kind of why, why does this matter? So the demand for, for alternative dairy uh, products is, is huge. Uh, me personally, my daughter, she can't drink dairy. Uh, well, she can't drink dairy, nor can she have dairy products or that much of it, I should say. So she's definitely a huge fan of uh, the alternative milk because she loves cereal. Um, she loves oat milk. However, again, I have not had this brand. Neither has her. Um, and again, she'll be 10 years old. So I don't know how much of that, how much a review would go far with theirs. Um, I think that a bigger thing too is Oatly has struck a partnership with Starbucks Corporation, uh, which basically means that Starbucks would be serving their milk and their drinks uh, with the man going up. And obviously we all know Starbucks selling coffee like crazy. So um, they're going to increase production with this new funding, etc. Uh, I do not see when they're looking to launch this IPO. Uh, they just filed for it. So, I mean, it could be within a month maybe. Um, but, uh, you know, I think this is something that, that, that could definitely be a big hit in the market. Um, it looks like they are doing an IPO compared to Coinbase. Coinbase did direct listing, meaning that um, there was no pre-IPO. Or it wasn't even IPO to begin with. It was just, we're open for business. Here, come buy some shares. So uh, if this is a regular, I believe it's a regular IPO, meaning that before IPO goes to the public, like me and you, uh, bigger companies can purchase uh, shares of it before it gets out in the public. And then you know they can make a little bit more money than we would in the sense of buying it first. So let me know if you guys think this is a good stock to invest in. Um, or if you know anything more about this company, I've heard about it. Again, I haven't seen it in stores even where I'm at. So I would think that this new round of funding through IPO is going to help 
increase distribution to stores across America and even expand into like you know bigger stores like Target or Walmart or something like that. So let me know what you guys think. And if you guys are interested in getting stocks or getting into stock market or crypto, a few links down below. Give this hand to sign up for free stocks and free money. Um, also, if you're new to the channel, appreciate you guys hit the subscribe button, bringing content like this every single week from stock news, crypto news, uh, new small businesses, and there's some whoops stimulus news. So thanks for watching, guys. Next time, peace.